hello. Um, I had a little request to do another makeup video from start to finish. And you know what? It's been such a lousy couple of weeks here. But I thought it don't come much worse than this. So when the going gets tough, the tough like to apply loads of makeup. And it makes me feel so much better. Um, yeah, so I thought, well, let's do one from start to finish. And I'm going to choose pinks. See what you think. When I say a tough few weeks, I've not really had it tough like some people have, but um, furlough and COVID has caused, I know it's caused mayhem for a lot of you. I know a couple of my friends that have lost their jobs and, you know, others that are in the same position as me where furlough has created such ill feeling between colleagues that used to be friends. Um, yeah, so I just feel a bit bruised and battered at the moment. Not, not in any sense of the way physical, obviously. <laughs> um, yes, so I thought let's do some makeup and let's do a pink one. So first of all, we'll put some base on. I'll try and make this as quick as I can. I've just gone back to using my Maybelline because I felt in every way, physically and mentally, I needed a nice dewy lift. And this foundation, the Maybelline Urban Dream Cover, there you go, does just that. It dries without powder and it's lovely and dewy. So pop some of this on. So I do keep up with most of you on Facebook and um, I get some lovely messages after I do these videos. Um, so I'm glad they make some of you feel a bit better as well. Because uh, it's not been a very nice time at the moment, has it? It's just uh, seems to be carrying on and on and on and you just don't know when it's going to end. Um, concealer. There we go. Dot some in there. Still, I'm going away for a couple of days. Tonight, back down to Cornwall. Um, I am awfully confused about this now but I think we're allowed to travel into a different tier um, and it's just for a long weekend not that that makes any difference tier wise does it but you get the you get the picture there so we've patted that in you can see I've got wonky eyes here you know, this is where, how your muscles go. So we need to now lift this one to match this one with our makeup. I found some lovely new YouTubers recently. One of them is, give it a look, um, Rosie Henshaw. She's only a young girl, but she does such lovely crafty things in the house. Um, yeah, so give that a look. Right, taken my slanty brush. and just an eyeshadow eyebrow palette and here we go just very carefully very lightly put some shape and try and lift the eyebrow just a little bit without it looking obviously lifted definition. Let's go and do the other one. There. 
mean, it's not perfect, but they're meant to be sisters, not twins. <laughs> so, now I'm going to get some bronzer. What I'm going to do sort of an autumnal pinky makeup which means if I wear it with kind of khaki green or something, it will still look okay. It's not punchy in your face pink. It's kind of mulberry tones. Voila. Almost looking human again now. Right, which palette shall I take now? This is an amazing one from Revolution. Um, I got a couple of Christmases ago. Let me show you. I don't know if you're a makeup geek like me, but a Huda Beauty um, nude palette. And it's really messy now, but it was full of those beautiful mulberry, autumnal, plummy, beautiful pinks. That was a Christmas present. Um, from Mark and the children and it was £55. This beauty, the new neutrals by Revolution, was something like £8 and it's a bit of a dead ringer. So if you like the mulberry tones, it's really worth having a look at that. That's Isle of Revolution, the new neutrals palette. And I am going to use the shade calm you see it's that lovely kind of mulberry tone let's find a brush and nothing's changed i'm still using my kind of half moon technique so let's give that a whirl in there So much has happened during COVID, hasn't it? Um, my son started college now. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the way they're dealing with it um, over at the college. You know, he's not allowed in without a mask or sanitising um, gel. It, you know, they're really being quite strict about it. And he's in a bubble of about five people. So, you know... If anything good has come out of COVID, it means that their tuition groups have gone right down, which is a good thing, I suppose. I mean, the reason isn't a good thing, but is it? But um, you can't knock it. No, I'm sipping my coffee. Do you like my mug? I love that. It's at the allotments. <laughs> Got it from Hyde Hall. <laughs> right. So you see that really, really simple technique, which I love because it hides a multitude of scenes, but it gives you a splash of colour. Right, now I'm going to get this little beauty. This is from Avon, by the way. It's got a kind of bronzy, reddy, thick, chunky crayon on the end, and it's a cream eyeshadow in there, which is a lovely bronze colour. So I really like that. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that under there. Now I have to do another video so I don't really underline my eyes because this one is a bit lower than that one and it does make it somewhat obvious. But with this chunky pencil, you can just smudge it to give a tiny bit of definition. I'm going to take my mascara, use my technique again, near the roots. Load it onto the roots and then go through to the ends, especially at the corners of the eye because it will lift it. Here we go.
So now it's time for some lipstick. What shall we do? I think I'm going to use two colours. I love this. It's kind of a Turkish delighty colour that I got from Rimmel ages and ages and ages ago, and it goes on the top of everything and mutes it down. So I'm going to use this um, matte lipstick from Avon. This is a nice pinky tone. Hang on. love that. A little bit of this off the top. Really muted. And then I'm going to take a cream sort of dusky pink blusher. Now if you remember in previous videos I've said always make sure that your lips and your cheek colour are in the same family and then it doesn't look screaming. So let's pop this on. Some of that. Starting to feel human again now. Now, here's a little tip that you may or may not like. Um, see what you think. I'm going to use a concealer that's a little bit too light, but it will show you what I'm talking about. This is a little bit too light for me, but if you put a tiny bit up here and around the bottom there, I'm going to blend that in. it will give you the effect of having a fuller lip. Um, it's not actually showing very well on this video, but if you give it a go with a light concealer around your lip line or even a creamy colour pencil, it really does give a nice lift. And also here, if you want a really clean look, tiny dab under your brow and above it, I'm using a concealer that's slightly too light for this to show you. It really makes your brow look clean. And I am feeling a little bit better. I'll lift this camera up so you can perhaps see my face in a different light. There. So that's a really, really, I call it an autumnal pink. Hope you like it.